you know, when you apply that to thinking about people's own health decisions as it relates to food and the quality of food, and you know whether it's the, the ability of a producer or someone looking to consume, um, just kind of in, in the people that you've talked to along the way over the last six to 12 months, kind of can you share a perspective there? Yeah, I think, um, you know, a, a, a few people come to mind. Um, we had a, a, a visit with a rancher out in uh, LaGrange, Texas, and um, we went out there with the idea of talking to them a little bit about, um, you know, what, what it might look like to incorporate Bitcoin into their business model. And um, they were interested, and I think that they had basically grown so disenchanted by the system um, and the incentives that were being played out by the big food system, which, as Slim was talking about, you know, in the 50s and 60s, the incentive was to ship dollars overseas through corn, soy, and wheat. And uh, essentially, we created a communist scare and uh, used food and food security in developing, developing countries um, as a way to implement the dollar overseas. And so that's kind of the, the first or one of the first dominoes when it comes to incentives, because at that point, we were kind of hooked on this system that was massively fueled by um, an excess amount of ammonia coming out of uh, World War II, which was then funneled into all the synthetic fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, um, all the things that create the... Uh, lack of nutritious uh, foods. And so, um, you know, that was, that, that was the golden, that was the time period when money broke in, in the 70s and food broke. It, it happened right at the same moment. And, it, you know, nefarious or not, or not wh whatever you want to, you know, take a stance on, I think that you can clearly look at it and say, you know, there was a global power grab there happening and now they're just fighting to, to keep control. And I think food has been abused because of it. We now have like the least nutritious food possible to feed our kids. So we're kind of